everybody knows about the ankle bone connected to the other bones you have inside your leg. And everybody knows it's true without the bones inside of you. Your body won't become a scrambled egg. So the toe bone's connected to the foot bone. And the foot bone's connected to the ankle bone. And the side is connected to the top bone. structure of the human body something quite unique and odd imagine all the bones and joints connected to each other in a complex distribution formed by years of evolution and there still is some confusion as to how it came to be the foot and toes and ankle help us walk we should be thankful they're connected to the lower leg or else we'd all fall down out here the tibia the shin bone and the fibula is ingrown to the back of the patella which is also called the knee here we call the thigh bone as the femur or the thigh bone is connected to the pelvis and the lower lumbar region of the sacrum to the vertebrae and doctors all refer to say the sternum or the thorax when they're talking about your ribs. Finger bones are numerous, the upper arms, the humerus, the forearms got two pieces called the radius and on up. Then the scapula and clavicle, the maxilla and mandible, the nasal and the frontal bone and cranium on top. <laughs> the skeleton is really great, it helps your body stand up straight. Without it all your brains and guts would fall out on the floor. Well gang, that was a real foot stopper. <laughs> At least it's not the bean song.